shame Oh, give me the beat, boys, and free my soul I want to get lost in your rock and roll and drift away Give me the beat, boys, and free my soul I want to get lost in your rock and roll and drift away Won't you take me away? Uncle Cracker doing Drift Away. It's Dan Radio Style. Hope everybody out there is having themselves a great day. This is going to be a problem. Ay, oof, that was close. Uh, yes, so kind of uh, being in a hurry. Uh, something that's popped up a few times, thought I'd do a show on it. Just seemed like a good idea. I actually had someone request some other great shows, and uh, I'm going to try to look into doing those over here the next few days. Just kind of, this one's been jumping out at me. People really being in a hurry. And, you know, I... I've talked about this before, certainly, and I'm sure I will talk about it again. But what are some of the things, or how do these things manifest within us? Maybe some of the areas that seem to maybe cause this need to have this happen so quickly. These are things we need to look at because these are things that are probably part of that tension, part of that that quick to go, quick to quick to get nervous, quick to get scared, quick to get angry. Right? Um, a lot of times, if we're coming at this, uh, maybe it's an ex someone that we've got had a relationship with in the past and now we're changing that like if we've been a certain way sometimes in the past sometimes we need to look at these behaviors what were we doing what are the patterns of the past or well i guess not necessarily or i'm here's how i'm going <laughs> to clarify that patterns of the past are something that are causing it so not something we necessarily want to focus on for long periods of time but what it happens. Here's how it manifests in a lot of our lives. And I don't think many of us catch ourselves when we do this. I don't think we realize or notice that what we're saying is actually keeping this energy activated in us. So a lot of us might say things such as, uh, this is how I was brought up. I wasn't brought up with any sort of uh, you know, spiritual background, or I wasn't brought up with uh, any sort of uh, help to not have these problems, or I was brought up as an abused person, I was brought up abandoned, I was brought up, like, when you mention that every so often, maybe once a week, once every couple weeks, like, it just happens, like, people are asking things about you, and you're like, well, you know, my mom didn't hug me enough, and, and I was dropped, or, you know, like, there's always this thing that you bring up. Ah, my shoes were too small, and I always walked funny. I, whatever the thing was that you did, you'll notice you bring it up every so often. And it's you're not bringing it up because of any reason other than just letting people know, hey, this is part of who I am. But that's something that maybe happened 20 years ago, 30 years ago, 40 years ago. It's not you anymore. And when you keep talking about something that was forever ago, or really even last week. But when we talk about things from forever ago, we keep that energy activated. We carry it with us daily. It's something that's not who we are anymore because we're not. We're so far removed from that time. And there's no doubt in your mind, right? You're so far removed from that moment. There's no reason to keep it alive. There's no reason to have it shape you. You're more than that. You are not this person that was abused eons ago. You're who you are right now. In your past, sure, that's part of what shaped you, but to constantly refer back to it. To constantly refer back to what happened, like I said, like four months ago. Well, four months ago, so-and-so and I, I don't know, we had a discussion and they said they never wanted to see me again. Now they're talking to me. Is, is that okay? Or, or should I talk to them? It's like, well, yeah. Who cares what happened four months ago? Really? Four months ago is four months ago. I mean, if you're still angry about it, uh, look back. Uh, you can ask for in the comments what the video was where I talk about astral letters. Look back to that. Uh, that's huge. Like as far as you need to try to forgive and stuff and like let go of things. But doesn't matter what happened even yesterday, really. They didn't text you back yesterday. They might text you today. This has happened to me numerous times, man. I get texts the day after, and it's super sweet. And you're like, all right, that totally made up for it. It doesn't even matter. So, again, a lot of us are in a hurry. And we really need to kind of just pump the brakes a little bit. And I really do think some of these past patterns, some of these past hurts, some of these past experiences that we've had, I really do think 
play a part in this sort of nervousness that exists within us. Maybe that's, I think that's part of why this hurry is kind of like such a, like, I gotta have it now. I gotta have it now. I gotta have it now because I'm, a, I'm nervous that they're, they're going to go with someone else. I'm nervous that they're still angry with me. I'm nervous that I can't be with the man I love or woman I love. I'm nervous that like, right. Like I'm nervous, feared, scared, whatever. There are things that we keep bringing up, even if it's that fight you had four months ago. You keep bringing it up. That's what I'm, I guess my point is here in this ramble is the things that we kind of keep alive, activated within us by bringing it up. And the show actually painted itself, frankly. I actually totally have different notes here. I think I just one line here I actually did from my notes. That's pretty funny. Again, a lot of us need to pay attention to this whole thing. I think once we can kind of catch ourselves activating these things, we can stop spending time doing that. I've talked about it over and over and over. What we think, what we say, what we do. That's how we manifest. Our beliefs shape it. What we think, what we say, what we do is the creative juice that's actually emanating. That's why imagining works, because you're thinking it. When you talk about it, that's powerful, not to people that are going to make you fear or question it. Like, if you talk to somebody that you know doesn't believe in law of attraction, that's, you're bad. You No, that's not who you talk about. But when you talk about, like, these are things I'm going to do. I'm going to start this website, and I'm going to begin this design company, and it's kind of happening. Uh, I've already talked to a buddy. We've got the first initial phases. I already got the the web uh, the web address. You know, like like you know, it's legitimate stuff. Yeah, we're talking about it. That's good because you're keeping it going. You're keeping that reality coming. Now, when we're talking about getting someone back, I get that sometimes that's a little mm, questionable because most of the time it's hard to come by people that probably agree that it's a good idea, right? I I've certainly heard it. You've heard it, right? So. Sometimes we got to take it as it comes, deal with it, <laughs> but try not to, you know, try not to make the same mistake multiple times talking to people who shouldn't. So again, and what we do is the actions towards, like I said, creating the website, buying the web address, those are actions, right? So again, super powerful towards manifesting. And really, if you're already at that phase, you're, you're already creating it. And I think that kind of was the inspiration behind the show was that piece of it is when you're at that last mile on this, you know, marathon, right? At the, however, 26K or whatever the 28K. I don't know what the heck it is. I'd, I'd never run that. That was ridiculous. I'd die. I'd be like probably 10K into it, just dead. Maybe one day. Who knows? I don't know. Probably not because I don't like to run. Anyways, as I digress and come back, hopefully. The last mile is where so many of us make the most mistakes sometimes. <laughs> is that ambiguous enough? <laughs> um, the last mile is where we know we're close. We feel it. We see it. We're like the light at the end of the tunnel. You're like, oh my God, you're just running for it. You don't see that little black dot that's coming towards you and getting bigger because you just see the light at the tunnel. So we got to remember that when we're getting closer, it's almost there. We need to chill and relax. And really the story that kind of inspired this is it's a person that's been talking to me over a period of time and their person kind of got into a relationship and I kept kind of saying and based off what he's saying and just kind of how it felt. And I was like, you know, it's that people can go through these temporary relationships. It's kind of even inspired a couple of the shows I've done. You can go through these temporary relationships. It doesn't mean they're gone forever. It doesn't mean that you still can't manifest this. And a lot of times people get into small relationships because it teaches them something and you need to go through that or you need to realize that it wasn't so bad or whatever. And so Long story short and somewhat, she has this uh, kind of relationship and it's bumming him out and he's, you know, just hating it. And then basically it finally ended. And this guy and everyone was like, he's horrible. He's a jerk and all these bad things, right? So she dated a horrible person and learned this wonderful, valuable lesson. And as soon as she breaks up, like a day, two after this person's like, uh, what, so is it not going to work out? Should I just give up? Like, what's up? Like, it's only, you know, and it's like, whoa, no. I'm like, dude, you don't want to be that rebound guy. You don't want to be immediate. You I mean, you know, like let her work through this. She just got out of a relationship. Like, no, 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 no. And it's that, whoa, pump the brakes. You're going way fast, dude. You're just running full steam now and you're going to freak them out. So again, that last mile, oh, it's, whoo, take a breath, sit back. Like I said, I don't know. Somehow it ties in, I'm hoping. But like the things that have been going on, the things we're keeping activated, it's got to be why we're panicking. 
This is your last little bit of time to get that dialed in before you like smack into them and freak them out. So again, what are we keeping active? What crazy's in there? I have no idea what I'm going to call this show because I feel like I'm titling two things, hurrying and activating. And I don't know how they tie together. Maybe that'll be like the, the story. Hurt. Activating versus being in a hurry. Ma. If there's any connection, I'm not quite sure. <laughs> oh, well, it's Dan Radio Style. Having a good time. I don't know. Uh, we're going to be doing another show coming up, uh, of course, daily. It's my plan anyways. Going out with another great song. This one is Madonna. Uh, crazy for you. And I am. That's Dan Radio Style.